In the many decades of our history, the Glanby organization has been continually evolving, changing and adapting. In 2012, Glanby Co-op and Glanby PLC together created the dynamic organization that is Glanby Ingredients Ireland. When EU milk quotas were eliminated in 2015, the business entered a new phase of growth, a growth that was supported by the growth ambitions of the businesses of our farmer suppliers. We're now entering another new exciting phase. If members approve, Glanby Co-op will acquire a 60% majority interest in the branded consumer products business and agribusiness. We will combine Glanby Ingredients Ireland, consumer products and agribusiness to create one scale organisation called Glanby Ireland. It will be a scale ambitious organisation with a starting sales number of 1.5 billion so it's an exciting time for our members. This Irish-based business will have global aspirations and a great team that will drive the business forward. We've announced that we have a strategic capital investment programme for this next phase of growth. It will be between 250 and 300 million and will support the growth ambitions of our member suppliers. I'm going to leave it now to some of the team members to tell you about the great ambitions and desires and growth opportunities of Glanby Ireland. Glambia Ireland is about shaping the future together and at its core is our members, our family farms who are dedicated to producing sustainable, top quality Irish food. Glambia Ireland will be majority owned by Glambia farmers. It will be Ireland's largest dairy processor and one of the top 10 dairy companies in Europe. And while it will have great scale, its roots are very much here on farm. Our greatest asset will be our family farms. Everything comes from this. We will process the milk from 4,500 dairy farmers and the grain from 1,500 grain farmers and we'll also supply the farm inputs. Our team will provide expert advice to our farmer customers to help them achieve increased efficiency and profitability. In the global marketplace, our seed-to-shelf knowledge and expertise of the complete food supply chain will be Glambia Ireland's unique advantage. In Glanby, Ireland, this year we will process over 2.5 billion litres of milk and export to over 60 countries. As a large dairy business, our reputation is based on the quality of our products. Our customers and our consumers trust our products and we must ensure that we earn that trust each and every day. In Glanby, Ireland, we will continue to lead the way in producing the highest quality milk. We will deliver this to having the right people, investing in state-of-the-art facilities, developing robust quality systems and nurturing a strong quality culture. And our scale will allow us to continue to be leaders in innovation, developing new markets and delivering high quality ingredients. And we will have unrivaled capability to control the inputs and trace our products from the farm to the consumer. Glambia Island will have great brands like Avamore, Kilmeadon Cheese, MyMilkman.ie, Wexford and Premier Milk. Through constant innovation, we offer our customers a brilliant range of value-added products such as Avamore Supermilk, Slimline, Heart Active, Protein and Lactose-Free Milk. Muju, our flavoured milk range, is one of our fastest growing products and is hugely popular with younger consumers. We've also opened a new UHT plant, supplying liquid milk and cream suitable for export to China, Europe, Africa and the Middle East. We are all excited at bringing our superb Irish dairy products to the world. As we have seen, these are three great businesses and they will be stronger as one. Glanby Ireland will be a business with great assets, great brands and great people to manage them. And they will be majority owned by Glanby Farmer shareholders. We will also have a 100 million spin out of PLC shares to our members and a 40 million euro support fund. The proposals have the unanimous support of the Glambia Board and Council and I look forward to seeing you in Punchestown Event Centre on Thursday the 18th of May and I will be asking for your full support for our proposals.